The city different is looking very different with the governor declaring a state of emergency with increased security all around the roundhouse. Reporter Brandon Evans is live for us now in Santa Fe. And Brandon, you've been talking to lawmakers about this. How are they feeling? Hey, Brittany, I did speak to two state House reps. One is a Democrat, one is a Republican, and the two parties not as divided as you may think on this, especially when it comes to safety. District 15 Democrat Dayan Hockman Hill represents Bernalillo County, while Republican Gail Armstrong from District 49 covers Catron, Socorro, and Valencia counties. Neither has been to the roundhouse since this fencing went up. But both say they've been made aware. We have been kept abreast of all of the changes for security that um, are being made right now to maintain and ensure the safety of everybody in and around the, legis the legislature. Our security at the Capitol, the state police and the Capitol security, they've been phenomenal. Uh, always on top of everything. Both also think the increased police, fencing, and public access restrictions will be enough to keep them safe. I'm glad to see that uh, the governor's office is taking the threat seriously. I think with everything that we're learning from what happened in Washington, D.C., uh, we have to take these types of threats very seriously. Armstrong even believes it may be taking things a little too far. I respect and understand the efforts of trying to keep our staff and and the governor and, and her staff trying to keep everyone safe. I understand those efforts. I think it's a bit much, but uh, you know, I, I respect what the governor's decision was on that. Now, coming up a little bit later tonight, you're going to hear more from both of those state house reps, including why one of them plans to introduce legislation dealing with domestic terrorism. That's coming up tonight at six. But for now, live in Santa Fe, outside the roundhouse, Brennan Evans, KOT Action 7 News.